Bonjour, vous autres fabuleuse. Not many people know this, but I have a selection of goblins um, stashed away in my drawer. Uh, you know, we sing Barbershop together, it's fine. Their, their goblin rights aren't being abused. You know, but check this out. Oh, this bordier is getting slightly boring. Goblins! Is and you across the table, drinking gin and making love as long as... And we are going to club together to answer the Neramon YouTube 2011 survey. <sighs> Beginning with... Tell us about your first kiss. Now, I'm glad everybody else has said that their first kisses were age 14 or 15, uh, because when I was 14 or 15, I didn't really help myself by looking like this. Cringe. And like all girls my age, I, I was looking into the future, dull-eyed, um, thinking that my first kiss would be really, really magical and cool, and like, just a bit, oh, sticky, wonderful, lovely. Uh, which was partially true. It happened in choir when I was 14, with a girl called Marion, who is now engaged. Me and Marion were the two annoying people who tried to outdo each other in choir. And once, before choir started, um, she just kissed me in front of everybody, which was really, really lovely. But she kind of had a panini beforehand, so like, her lips are a bit greasy, and but it was nice anyway. What is the most expensive piece of casual clothing you've bought? Now this is a bit of a tricky one for me because I don't tend to buy clothes all that often. I acquire them. This outfit, for example, was entirely acquired. As was this one, and this one, and this one. Now some of you may be thinking, oh god, his mouth still buys his clothes for him. No, um, my wardrobe is basically a mishmash of old clothes people don't want anymore. But about four years ago, I bought some jeans which were 30 quid. Whoa, whoa. You know, I'm just that big a spender. I bought a Daniel Johnston t-shirt for 10 quid. Tell us about your school friends. I don't know whether you've seen the hit TV show The Inbetweeners, but in my group of friends, throughout my entire school career, I was the Will. For those of you who don't know, Will was the geeky one. When I was in year six, it was fine because all my friends were like that. Um, my teacher called us um, the Thunderbirds. But in big school, my friends were John, Ben, Tom and Pete. And they were army types. Ben is definitely in the army now. Um, Tom is maybe, I think. And I'm not sure what the other two are doing. But um, when we, on, on Ben's 15th birthday, because he lived um, above a shop in the main street in Penzance, um, we, we, sh we shot people with BB guns out outside the window, and then the police came and took them away and destroyed them. Continuing on that very teenage theme, um, John brought one of his dad's pawns. It was a really high budget one from the 80s, and, and until about halfway through, I thought it was like a legit film. I, 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 t I turned to John and said, oh, there are quite a lot of tits here. I was like, that's because it's a porn, mate. We found um, a Rudy magazine on top of a toilet. And it, it was like gold. We were going to divide up the pages the next day. And um, quite openly in four, we were like, oh, have you, have you got the picture of that girl with the um, like colourless nipples? What was the first job you ever, ever wanted as a kid? When I was about three or four, I wanted to be a paleontologist. Now, a, pa a paleontologist is someone who looks at dinosaurs for a living, and that just seemed like the best thing in the world. I got mentally into dinosaurs. I could tell a herbivore from a carnivore just by the hip bone. Well, herbivores have bird-shaped hip bones, and carnivores have lizard-shaped hip bones. My favourite dinosaur was an Edmontosaurus, but my dad's favourite dinosaur was a Baryonyx. Which, looking back, that was a better choice. Anybody who wants to do the survey, do it. Uh, the original video is in my crotch area. i quite like Sammy Paul to do it. I I'd be very, very interested to see what he has to say about all this, that and the other. Until next time, goodbye. Oh yes, before I go, I'm thinking of having an intro and an outro just to make the continuity of my videos better. Um, if you have any, like, pictures that can be used as like a intro things. I, I, I can edit them together and it'd be really, really cool. I can put music and it, it'd just be a really nice intro to um, my videos. But because I feel in, in the last couple of videos, they've just been bang information. So yes, yeah, so if, you, if you're feeling at all charitable, just put like a drawing paint thing um, and send it to me um, in my YouTube email, which I shall pop in the thing, but I'll be just down there. Thank you very, very, very much.